Let's talk about the hack that affects current and former New York City school students. All of the blame lies in Illuminate Education, which is a platform that schools use to attract attendance and grades. They did not have the proper security and safety as it relates to their program and their platform, and a lot of student information has been breached. Let's get into what you have to do about this. Hey, I'm Cyber Farida. I'm an award-winning Forbes 30 Under 30 online safety educator helping you protect your kids online. But one thing we often forget is that every service we use, every app, every device, every website can be and most likely will be hacked sometime in the future. It's better to operate as if things have been hacked already and to put things in place to protect yourself. So whether or not you're involved in this hack, these tips can help you, but especially if you're involved in this hack and you know someone or you are someone who is a public city, um, not public city, wow, New York City public school student or former student, then make sure you're watching this video because you need this information. About 820 thousand previous and current students are affected. The hacker was able to access information like their birth dates, whether they speak English or not, whether they need special education and assessment grades. Now this is just what they said the hacker had access to, but you never know the hacker could have had access to more things. You should be receiving soon an email or some type of correspondence to tell you that you've been affected. But like I said in the beginning of the video, even if you don't think you are, you still need to do some of these steps. Even though passwords aren't involved in this breach, I I still do recommend that you change any of your passwords that were connected to the school. If you have been using passwords over and over and over and over and over again, now is the time to change it. Remember, you have to use unique and long passwords for every single account. Anytime you try to go around that, you try to shortcut, whatever it is, you're gonna shortcut your security and safety online, including your kids, so get on that. Now I know it's difficult to manage passwords and they always want uppercase, lowercase, long passwords, a this password, that password. It feels like every single day it changes and they have to change every 30, 60, 90 days and this is like really confusing, absolutely maddening. So use something called a password manager. It manages your passwords for you. Yes, it's secure. Yes, it's reliable. Many people in the security and safety industry use it, including me. I highly recommend LastPass, L-A-T-P-A-S-S-S. -S -S. It's not that many S's, it's just L-A-T. L A S T P A S S. That is that, and then dot com. I'll put it in the screen so you can go check it out. And they also create passwords for you. So if you don't know what password to put, you can just have them. There's like a password generator, and it will generate a password for you. This is like fundamental security things that you need to have on every single device, every single app, every single website, basically every single account. Anything that allows you to add a password, you need a password manager. Here's the thing that we don't often talk about. Every time a breach happens, it follows you for the rest of your life. So now, now that the great are now public information people know about it scammers or hackers can use this information to craft a really great scam email or scam text message or stand scam phone call and you might be thinking this must be a legitimate email or must be a legitimate whatever text message or phone call because they know a lot of information about me so clearly this is a le legitimate company or correspondence it's not it's absolutely not they take this information from one your social media so be careful what you're posting not just your kids but yourself and then number two they take it from breaches like this where now they know your assessments grades now they know that English is your second language so they'll put little things here and there to make you feel like the email is legitimate but it actually isn't so you definitely want to be careful for any information that's coming out of the breach being used and things like that during the pandemic some of the information that was breached or put on social media was used to act like they were a kid's school or they're a hospital or there was something where it was some type of authority with parents and the parents would reply back and give more information about their child so if now someone is acting like to be your school and saying hey we know that your son got this grade on math and so there are some tutoring services that we believe that's mandatory for you to have so click here and put all of your information you might be more likely to do it because they have the school name they got the grade they got the teacher right everything seems right but honestly they got all the information from social media and a data breach so always be careful about what you're responding to an email text message or phone call and scan links you can scan links with virustotal.com and I'm gonna put the the link in the description and then show notes below show notes 
Is that really, really called? I don't know. Anyways, it's in the description. It's in the description, and then I'll put it on the screen, virustotal.com. You can use that to scan links. If you're unsure about a link and you're a little bit suspicious, you can use that service. A real quick note, the Virus Total does have a service where they can scan files to make sure it doesn't have viruses or malware. I do want to put a very, very big note on that to say that anytime you upload a link or a file or whatever to that service, it's publicly available because it's a service a lot of security and safety people use to research malware to see what is connected to what hacker or whatever all those type of things so if you're going to use that service remember that any link or any document that you upload is publicly available the real serve the service is really just to scan something so be sure it's something like a public website or website you received and you're not really sure if it's real another thing I highly recommend from this breach and everyone else to do is actually to get identity theft monitoring or credit monitoring for your account typically with these data breaches and I believe they sent this in this one as well they'll give you some free credit monitoring or free identity theft protection you can take that or you can just do your own whatever works for you whatever makes you feel more comfortable sometimes it takes them a long time to actually get it and there's just like some there's like something mixed up with some of the services so most of the time it is better to get your own and figure it out one service that I think is great is identity force and you can go there to check out more about their plans another thing you really want to do is double check to see if your children actually has a credit report because the information from data breaches from social media or from hacking they can actually use it to add up and open up lines of credit in your kids name and you really want to make sure that is shut down if that ever happens and then once you contact them just ask them to manually check to see if your child does or does not have a credit report open in their name if they do find something open in your kids names you can just ask them to freeze it and then your kid can unfreeze it whenever they need to in the future the FCC has a guide on how you can protect you and your kids from identity theft so I'll also put that in the links below I do want to reiterate that the school has said that the hacker did not access financial information but it is still a really really good practice to do all the steps that I mentioned before now, if you're having trouble keeping up with tech social media gaming the latest news what's going on that I have a video for you that you must watch to be sure that you're staying on top of everything that's happening in the world because it's a lot see you there